What's good guys? I'm Zombie Gaming here again and welcome back to another episode of Cube World guys. We're back in the lands of Vartar and today today is a glorious sunny day. I'm actually recording this kind of kind of midday around uh, around 12 of my time. I, it's actually exactly 12 of my time as as of recording this. Uh, so welcome back and I am ready to record on this hot summer day. A, a wonderful new episode of Cube World for you guys. Thank you guys for your support on this series. I love this game, and I know you guys do too. Uh, Hornet's kind of slow. He he kind of takes a while. What do these guys have to say? I haven't seen you before. Are you an adventurer? I am an adventurer. What do you have to say? Do I know you? You guys don't. You guys haven't seen me before. And we actually can make some ginseng soup. Thank goodness, because we just got some. We got a little bit from last episode, and we are where are we are a decent way into leveling up to level three. But we're just going to continue south. We're going to head down where it's warmer to the southern parts of this land and see if we can continue leveling up. You know, like I said, probably within the first ten episodes, we will encounter ourselves a dungeon to hopefully try and take that on. Uh, but I want to be a, oh hello, look at these, look at these, hello boys, hi there. Hey guys, I have got a donut with your name on it. Oh yeah, second pet. There we go. We've got ourselves a mole. He is level 2. We're not probably going to use him that much because I want to use the hornet. Um, but that's cool. We have another pet at least of another pole. Gosh dang. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, and I think the sound settings and everything that I've been using for every episode have been working out pretty flawlessly to make this series pretty fantastic so far. I'm really into this game. I'm just loving it. Uh, like I keep saying, like every episode, I've been looking a lot at the new Legend of Zelda game. And, uh, you know, this just this game kind of reminds me of that. And it's it feels good to be playing. So let's just continue on. We've got a river down to the south of us a little bit here. This forest is pretty dense. Wow. There's a lot of denseness here. And, okay, we got a frogman here who is going to, I'm going to cash in on all this XP. All this XP, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. There we go, a ranger's chest armor, we can sell that. That's always the plan with that, I'll turn the light on so we can see better. Um, let's see, and I figured every single episode that I make, I'll talk about the new, the new updates that Wally has put out. Uh, in terms of the game and nothing has been said uh, Since I think last month, so that probably means he's very hard at work It probably means he's polishing up his product of this game We're gonna eat a ginseng soup here real quick, uh, but that probably means he's just polishing it up You know, there's probably not a whole lot of new things that he's looking to add It probably just means he is working on it, which hopefully means uh, that this update is going to be coming soon, and I honestly can't wait. Uh, the whole internet, like, if you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys probably think that Cube World is dead or dying, uh, that a lot of people don't care about it, and frankly, that's not true. The whole of the internet who has played this game and seen it before, uh, is still in love with it, and is still waiting to see more of this game, and so am I, and, you know, even, even as... Even during this Let's Play, you know, I'm still looking to see more, and I'm just looking to have fun, you know? That is the name of this game, is to have fun. So let's just keep on keeping on. Let's get this ginseng here. Always good to have. Mushrooms will... I would like to get some onions to get some mushroom spit. Oh, hi, palace. Hello there. Look at this palace. Wow, some fight is going on that I cannot see. Oh, right down this way. Son, you're gonna die. Quacha, yes, get down. So I've, I feel pretty confident taking on these guys. I'm going to take the boomerangs and stuff just because we need the money so desperately. And there's a lot of mobs here. Thank goodness, guys. Check this out. The sun is setting. It is a beautiful day. And we're going to check out that palace, at least to have, have it marked on our map. Um, and you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was playing a little off camera on my other character. And I really feel like waypoints would be a fantastic addition to this game. I really do. I think waypoints would be awesome. Um, but since we don't have waypoints, we couldn't put one there. That means, you know, I want to have that marked for a later date. 
uh, for going back to that, because I want to take on as many dungeons in this area as we can. There we go. Nice 5 XP for our Hornet there. And we've got a bunch of flies here that I'm feeling confident about. So we'll gather them all up. All right. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Nice. Dude, the triple. The triple kill. Combat is going, going pretty smoothly so far, guys. I'm going to be honest. It's nice. We're surviving, at least. That is, that is the main thing. So we're just going to keep on drinking this stuff. That should be good. Let's put the potions on just as we get closer to this area. Uh, these guys are good. The weather is nice. Dude, the weather is beautiful. You are right. I love traveling to cities of different lands. Same here. The weather is beautiful, guys. No matter what, the weather is always beautiful in Cube World. And I don't know if he's planning on adding... Ooh, this is cool. This is cool. It's like an under... It's a cave under the palace. Ooh, this is fancy. Let's get both of them right there. Uh, but I think it'd be cool to have weather. Like having a storm, rain, and cube world. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, maybe someday he'll add that. Nice! 12 XP right there. That's what I'm talking about. That is some good XP, guys. Holy cow. So here we are on top of this palace. This is very, very cool. This palace is awesome. It's probably, yeah, probably nowhere near where we want to be right now. Uh, definitely don't want to take this on yet, but again, we have it on our map. We are good to go. So, let's check this out. Guys, these trees... Again, trees are my favorite, guys. I'm just super into this game right now. I really love playing it. It's a lot of fun uh, to just sit down and record episodes for you guys. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was so close. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's what I look for in a series, guys, is... Is, uh, you know, how, how much fun do I have recording it? Oh, hello. We got a salted caramel, so that will get us a seagull in the future when we want it. So that's cool. And Hornet, man, he... I haven't really used Hornets a lot. I feel like he could be a really good, like, starting pet uh, that could, you know, accompany us through the entire game. Kind of like the turtle was uh, with my other character. I think that could be cool, honestly. Just have a, uh, a Hornet for the entire game. I'd be down, guys. I would be down. So we got that, and we do we can get a seagull as well. Are these those two friendly ones? Or are they evil? These ones... Yes, those are the same guys that I found just a couple minutes ago. Which is okay. You know? Any friendly faces, I am happy to see. Alright. So, we gotta keep going. Our light is so dim. We need to get a better one, hopefully, in, in the city of a new town. That would be sweet. Uh, we got some chickens here. Let's just bring him, bring them to us. I'm not gonna use my special move on them. They're they're pretty weak, to be honest. Oh, I totally just missed that. I was trying to see if I could hopefully hit both of them. Watch out! Get out of here. So, ah, uh, man, we're almost level three already, which is gonna be awesome. And and like I said, I think level four, level four or five is probably when we're gonna start dungeon crawling, uh, because that is going to be. We're, on, we're actually going to have the opportunity to do this. Now, what is this? Is this just a weird-looking lake? I'm looking at it on the mini-map, and it's like a lake that just has a bunch of rocks in it. This is sick. Wow, I don't think this is a dungeon. I'm pretty sure it's not. Dude, check this out, guys. Wow, okay. This is, this looks sick. That's awesome. All right, dude, hang on. We just need to, 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 to take a moment and just appreciate the scenery as the sun sets. My gosh, dude. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. So let's just keep on. We're still going south, right? Yep. Through all this stuff, through all of everything, to get ourselves some new terrain, some new enemies to fight, all that good stuff. We've got a couple of wandering, wandering adventurers here. Are they good? Are they friend or foe? Let's find out. Let's find out. They are foe. So let's get up there and wreck them. What cha 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 cha? Oh, oh, geez. I'm, getting, I'm poisoned a little bit. I'm poisoned. There we go. Get down, boys. Okay, we should be able to take them down. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we got a power level five sword. Huh. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Um. We could probably dual wield it, to be honest. Uh, do we? Can we? 
Yeah, we can. Can we dual wield it with this axe, though? Or with this club? No. Darn. Okay, well, let's try this, because it's better. I like the one-handed weapons. I like those a lot more. Oh, guys, hang on. This is even, like... This is even a better screenshot right here of just the sunset of the world. Oh, man, I love it. I can't tell you guys how much I love it. Oh, yeah, look look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. All right, enough, enough gawking at, at the stuff. I was about to drink, but... Is there... There is a sleeping bag. I think there's a sleeping bag in there. I can't get in there, though. That that kind of sucks, actually. Dang it, man. Dang it, I was hoping to regain some health, but I guess we're going to have to relax at this campfire as the sun sets. Campfires are, are a very good spot to be at night. Uh, they, they provide light. Uh, better than your light, better than your lamp. Okay, those are just leaves. I'm, I'm just looking for heart flowers. Um, they provide very good light, and usually mobs tend to stay away from campfires. Well, friendly mobs. Um, adventurers, even hostile adventurers, do do spend time near campfires because they're humans. They're race. Oh, hello. They're not racist. They're they are races of of adventurers, and they yeah. They only adventurers, good or bad, go to campfires. Other mobs don't really have any reason to go to campfires, so you won't be seeing many other mobs. So usually, they're honestly the safest places to be at night. Uh, so that's what we're probably going to be on the lookout for, you know, periodically at night. Just so we can hopefully stay alive. Ooh, Hornet scared me there for a second. Sorry if you guys can hear my birds. They have been acting up like crazy today. Not necessarily. I think This is the first video I'm recording today. Um... So, not in other videos, but they have just been making so much noise, and it sucks. So, my apologies for them. Now, these, you, you can't do anything with these, which never made sense to me. I mean, of course, I know, they're just, they're just... Oh, dude, look at that. Look at my attacking. Now, yeah, I'm not, I see I'm not doing as much damage. And that's just because this is one-handed, and I should be dual-wheeling it. So, we'll take that. Let's, let's equip... What is this damage for? Let's equip this. Let's equip that. Let's try the double swords. I like the one-handed weapon. That's kind of what I want to try the most. Ooh, is this... Is this a big tree? It is! Guys, look at this. Let's mark it on the map for later. We're finding so many dungeons uh, that we just need to be prepared to take on. Guys, look at this scenery right now. Just, just take that in right there. Mmm. I love those trees. This one's kind of fat. <laughs> it's kind of fat, and the boss is at the bottom. That's interesting. That is interesting. Let's get all these flies together. Hey, boys. Let's all chill, hang out, have a good time. Dude, I love the tempo. It's just so fast. And it does splash damage. Ooh, this is, this is nice. That's nice, man. Wow, okay. Level up again. Awesome. Uh... Let's do it, dude. I kind of... We have no pets to ride. No rideable pets yet. Let's just put it into Smash so we can... So we can start getting these skills. So Smash is going to be doing a lot of damage in the near future. Terralin Tree, red as well. Awesome. And right now, we're, we're just mapping out the crap out of this... Out of this world right now. So hopefully we can find a portal. Maybe. That will be... I mean, none of this stuff that we're finding is of use to us right now, but very soon it will be. Trust me, guys. For those of you who are new to the game, uh, this stuff will be useful to us soon. Soon we're going to be able to take on dungeons, uh, preferably the blue ones. We haven't really found many blue ones, have we? I mean, not really. We've got those Shanlan Mountains, or Sanlan Mountains, excuse me, uh, that are part of that quest. And that's really it. All of the others are red. Now, we could go to that quest to discover it. Uh, if it's a boss, there's really no point, though. Uh, so quests we're probably going to stay away from as of right now. I just want to keep mapping out the dungeons and mapping out the world. We're surveying the world right now, guys. We're getting a feel for how this is going to play out for this series, uh, at least in this biome. And then soon, we will continue and... Uh, and I can actually go and take on those dungeons once we are higher level. So, that's the plan there, but now we just gotta keep leveling up. We leveled up, uh, uh, Hornet, 
yet to be named Hornet is still level 2, but he's so close. Let's try to get him some kills real quick. Um, but yes, I haven't had time to look at the comments of the last video to check the name. Yeah, so this, they don't do as much, like, damage as, I'm just gonna let him do it. There we go, he's so close. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, they don't do as much damage as the club, honestly. I kind of prefer the club, to be honest. Yeah, I like the club, guys. I just like how it plays. It's a heavy hitting, you know, that's how I like to play in Dark Souls. So, yeah. Alright. I always love close-up combat. I don't like ranged combat because I feel like it's too easy. You don't, it doesn't take a lot of skill to use. I could go on a rant. I could make an entirely separate video on, on why I hate ranged combat. Uh, but we will save that. <laughs> We're going to save that for, I don't know, if you guys want me to, I will. I don't really feel like it. Okay, so can we make anything? I will sleep here. Oh, dude, what a thumbnail. What a thumbnail right there. We're sleeping at night. And that does, as you guys can see up in the top right, uh, there is a timer. And that does go faster. Oh, we don't have any onions. How many mushrooms do we have? Like 30-something? Uh, 29. Okay, sweet. So, yeah. Time does go faster when you're sleeping. Because technically you're asleep, you know? So. Yeah! So let's keep on keeping on, guys. I, I just love this game. If you guys want me to make this a daily series, I know I've been doing... Ooh, hello. Is this a... This has got to be... Does it? It might... No? I th Maybe. Maybe. I wish I had a hang glider for this. Um, but if you guys want this to be a daily series, please let me know. You know, uh, The Division has been a daily series on my channel for a while. Uh, and I, I mean, I'm happy to switch it out with this. Not saying The Division would stop. Um, but that I would be happy to make this the daily, the daily thing. That sounds fantastic to me. Anything, really. <laughs> so let's just keep on. Uh, there is some, what are those? Oh, those are bark beetles. Yeah, not gonna face them. We're just going to sneak right under them. And go mining a little bit. There's some iron. That's what we need. We really need that. I wish you got XP for mining. That'd be cool. Okay, so there's a bat here. I want to be really careful, uh, and not not aggro those bark beetles because they're just gonna wreck us hey first our first little well well there we go guys okay well this is gonna be a fight and a half right now i do not have my potions on me right now okay let's see if we can oh man i don't have potions on me oh that that bark beetle though holy crap holy crap and i can barely see him outside of this Outside of this range, I can barely see him. He does so much damage. Oh! oh my gosh. The damage he does is ridiculous. Holy crap. Guys, I'm going to kill him. Don't you worry. We need to drink, though. We have to drink. This might kill him. Yes! 13 XP from that. Holy crap. Uh, and Hornet leveled up, too. Sweet. Thank goodness. That battle was hard, but it was well fought and well worth it. Those are the battles you gotta look for. You know, I didn't really look for that battle, but if you can find those battles that can net you some good XP uh, and, and help your, you and your pet level up, those are the best early on. Fighting hard enemies is in the name. It's hard, um, but it is definitely well worth it. Alright, so yes, you guys can see. Campfires. Okay, look at all these freaking things that I don't want to fight. <laughs> Campfires are definitely the best. You guys can see how dark it's getting right now. Uh, once it gets to actually being nighttime, I'll show you guys how dark it actually is uh, in in comparison. Do we have... Just take it and take in the surroundings, guys. Just take it in. We do have some ginseng soup to make. Let's do that. We're kind of going from campfire to campfire, which is kind of what I, what I wanted to do. Because campfires are the holy grail of... Wait. Yes, there is... There is, in fact, a, a bed here, and I will use that. Whoops, not done yet. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to move around there, but let's, let's get this. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Feeling good. I think, I like, I remember all the way back in Cube World Season 2 when I started a mage character, and I still have that mage character, but I started the mage, and I, that kind of what, that's kind of what ended the season for me, um, is because I didn't, I didn't really have fun with it, 
Uh, and I wasn't leveling up fast. Oh, you can see those insect guards, like the silhouettes of them. Oh, man, let's not do that. Um, but, oh, okay, well, I mean, I just said let's not do that. Let's not, Mr. Insect Guard. Wow, this thing, this thing hits like a freaking truck. Okay, now we get him down. I think we should be able to kill him without, without using a potion. Get out of here. 11 XP for just one of those guys. That's nice. I mean, the Bark Beetle gave, like, what, 14 or something like that? So, you know, still gave a lot. But look at this. You can barely see my character. Knights are scary, man. They're scary. And we do have even more ginseng. Or, well, we can make one ginseng root. Hang on. Guys, this is... This is the thumbnail right here, guys. Look at this. Look at us, man. Look at us in the dead of night. Sorry. I always like looking for cool things to get thumbnails for. Hopefully, you guys, don't mind that. If you do, just feel free to let me know, and I will stop. Don't know. Maybe this was an area right here? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to keep on traveling. We are. Was that a mob? Yes, it was. We're going to travel through the night. Because that's what I think is going to be best for us. There we go. All right. So traveling through the night, traveling... Oh, hello. What is that? Is that a ruby? Oh my gosh! Are you guys seeing this? It's a freak... What? I have never seen this before. Holy crap. Three ruby nuggets? What? Holy crap! I've never seen that in, in a plains before, or in a woodlands. Wow! I've only ever seen that in a lava land biome. Wow, dude, this cave, huh? Let's check this out. It's gonna be dark. That is for sure. But if there's anything... I thought it was a boss for a second there. I thought it was a boss, and I I, I had no idea. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Plane Runner. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Oh, hi! It is a party now, isn't it? Nice! Pancakes! Dude, look at all this- look at all this pet food! Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, so not much with the cave, but we just got rubies, dude! Wow! That is awesome! Oh, wow, dude. I didn't even know that was possible here in these biomes. Okay, we've got some witches here. Let's talk to them. Give them a little bit of light. Hell demons are really strong. That they are. That they are. Oh, dude, you should probably get back to your friends. Where are they? Where did they go? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, I want to talk to you guys. Did... Some rocks can be destroyed with bombs. How are you? Dude, I'm doing great. A little scary at night, but nothing I can't handle. I feel bad for all the mobs that, that travel without lamps, you know? Like, that'd be traveling like this. It's so hard to see. It's so hard to see. Uh, and I just... I don't know, guys. It's hard. It is hard. Alright, but let's find our way. Any mobs? Any mobs? Maybe? Maybe so? Maybe not? Any any dungeons or quests or anything? No? Alright, wait! Maybe that's where the portal is. I might backtrack a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, that could be where the portal is. You never know, guys. You never know. Let's get a, let's get a grand look of where we are up the top of this hill. Hopefully there are no mobs chilling up here, because... That would be scary. You can get jump scared in this game. Not even kidding. I have gotten my fair share of jump scares in this game before. Uh, just due to uh, being at night and me not seeing me not seeing the mob at all. All right, but caves would be nice to find. I still can't believe we found that ruby. Uh, and then we've got this top of the mountain. And the world is dark below us. Let's actually head to this campfire, and that might be a good spot to end this episode off. I like to keep them between 20 and 30 minutes, usually around, you know, 25 minutes, so that's about where we are right now. Nice, that pig. Man, poor pig, dude. He's just minding his own business, probably really scared in the dark, and, uh, dude, this is so dark. Look at how dark it is. That's what I'm telling you guys. It's so dark. It's so dark. I just, like, oh, man. Just how dark it is. Uh, but that will do it for this episode of Cube World, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, be sure and slap a like on it for me and let me know what you guys think. If you guys would like to see this as a daily series, 
I would love to. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure and slap a like on it for me or subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'm Zombie Gaming MC, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.